Howdy folks, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to walk you through how to start a Farmall MD tractor. As always, there's a few preliminary things you should do before you start your tractor up. The first being, turn on the diesel. So there's a shut off at the bottom of the diesel tank. Open that up. Check your water fuel separator. Make sure that the screen in there is free. There's no debris in that screen. And make sure that there's no water in your water trap as well. On the side of the injection pump here is a pet cock to check your oil level. Open that up. Make sure that fluid runs out of there. Depending on the seals condition of your injection pump, you may get diesel out of here off the top or you may get oil. Check your engine oil. The dipstick is right here. Thankfully on EMD we do not have to pull the distributor cap. And then your gasoline is right here as well. Once you get those turned on, get your fluids checked, step back here to the operating station. On mine, my ignition switch is right here. So you would pull that out to turn on your coil. And this one does not have a solenoid actuated starter. It is a switch that then puts power to the starter with a little foot pedal here. Some of the basic controls on this, since it is a little different than a gas model. This is your changeover level. This changes from gas to diesel. This is diesel throttle only. There is no throttle on the gas side. And like a normal M, your light switch is located right here. So if we were to start this, we would take our changeover lever and we would push it to the forward position and it should lock and stay there. Once we do that, go ahead and engage our clutch. Pull out our ignition switch and then we would go ahead and step on our starter. Now, typically I let mine run for two to three minutes just because I prefer a smooth changeover from gas to diesel. The transition is much smoother if you let it warm up a little longer on the gas side. This particular tractor, I can tell when it's time to kick it over because it really starts to miss on the gas side. And that lets me know that, hey, it's time to change it over. So at that point in time, I'll hop on and kick it over. So during this video, I'll go ahead and I will transition from gas to diesel fairly quickly. This tractor's already been running and it's warmed up. So when you start on gas, like I said, you let it run. And then when it's time to change over to diesel, Somebody has converted this to a right hand throttle, but traditionally your throttle will be over here. Uh, you have to kind of find it. Some are looser, tighter, adjusted differently than others. But typically I like to adjust it so when it changes over to diesel, it's right above idle. So that there, there's no chance of stalling and it gives it just a little bit more fuel uh, to help during that changeover process. So we're going to go ahead and start this tractor here. So I said it's already on the gas side. One thing I forgot to note as well, when you change over to diesel, you are going to pull back on your changeover lever at the same time that you are opening the diesel throttle. That is in one synchronous motion, which right now I have one hand on the camera, so I won't be able to do that, but you'll get the idea. Open the diesel throttle and pull back on a lever. 